This is the WorkB 1015. Uh, 1015 just refers to the size. It's 1,000 millimeters on the x-axis by 1,500 millimeters on the y-axis. Um, these come as a, a kit uh, that you can order from China. I ordered through a company called Bulkman 3D. Um, and they come in a lot of different options. Um, I ordered mine with a 2.2 kilowatt uh, water-cooled spindle. But they have a number of different options in spindles, uh, sizes, and control boards. Shipping from China, I, if I remember correctly, was around $700. Uh, but still, given the price of the kit, it, it was a pretty good value. I was pretty unhappy with the performance at first. Uh, I feel like the aluminum C-channel beams uh, were just too flimsy to carry the weight of the heavy 2.2 kilowatt spindle. And it was just, I was getting a lot of flex and uh, pretty poor cut performance when cutting aluminum. So I made several upgrades to my machine. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. Let me show you a few projects I use the machine for. At my wife's badminton club, uh, she has all of these advertisement boards that uh, divide off the different courts. And uh, they're always falling over and getting knocked over. So uh, I designed and made these uh, stands to hold them. I had a bunch of sheets of uh, two by four feet uh, plywood. So I just fit as many as I could on each sheet. Uh, I used an eighth inch down cut bit and I cut out about um, 120 of these I think and yeah I cut them all out no problem. Here you can see the finished stands in action. Cool. This project was uh, building a, a custom large format CNC router. Um, I was using some of the parts that I took off the work B when I upgraded it. And then I was uh, designing and building some of my own parts. Um, here I'm cutting out the side plates out of quarter inch aluminum. Here's another uh, custom aluminum part uh, to hold the router clamp to the Z-axis. Here you can see the finished machine. Um, I built this to replace the Lowrider 2 CNC machine that I was pretty unhappy with. Uh, you could check out my other video for a review of that. For this project, I was using the Work B to cut out PCB prototypes for this product I've been developing called the Badminton uh, Faster Footwork Trainer. Uh, you can see the device here. I plan on doing a video series in the future about how I use the CNC a CO2 laser cutter and 3D printers uh, to make this device. I used uh, carpet tape to hold down the copper PCB boards and then I used a 0.8 millimeter uh, end mill to uh, do all the engraving and hole cutting. The water cooled spindle is pretty quiet uh, in comparison to uh, a router uh, especially when uh, taking light cuts like this. Here's 
Here's where I really pushed the work beat to its limit. Um, I bought this used injection molding machine and I wanted to make these uh, blank aluminum molds where I could use my resin printer to uh, print the real mold inside of it and this would contain it and support it from the pressure of the clamps. Um, so yeah, cutting these out of one inch aluminum uh, proved to be a challenge. Uh, as the bit got pretty deep in there, it was generating a lot of heat and I, I had a couple failures where it would just like gum up in the aluminum. But uh, I eventually got through all the pieces and uh, I'll show you in a second the finished molds. Here I'm cutting out the other side. Here are the finished mold blanks. Uh, I made a large size and then I used the scrap from it to, to make a smaller size. And you can see the resin printed inserts I have in the small mold there. Uh, and here's the, here's the used Morgan press machine that I bought. Uh, if you're interested, I think I'm going to make some videos on it in the future about uh, making molds. I ended up selling the work be uh, to buy this more industrial style machine uh, as I was starting to cut more and more aluminum and I wanted to head in the direction of mold making. So my final thoughts on the machine, um, I feel like, like it was a pretty good value if you like assembling uh, these machines yourself uh, and when ordering it, there's a lot of different options um, so you can really get what you want. Uh, also, the, sh the shipping was expensive, but uh, it arrived quickly, I think less than two weeks. The things that uh, I didn't enjoy were uh, the machine just wasn't that rigid without doing a bunch of upgrades. Um, like I said before, the, the heavy spindle uh, was just way too wobbly without adding linear rails to the x-axis. Uh, I also separately bought this z-axis kit uh, that had rails and aluminum plates from CNC for newbie. And uh, yeah, it, it made a big difference. I also uh, modified the frame of it and mounted it directly to a really heavy countertop to help with the rigidity. Uh, since the time of me building this machine and doing all my custom upgrades, uh, they've put out some new kits called uh, the Queen Bee, which have uh, upgraded from the roller wheels that ride in the V grooves to linear rails uh, for the X, Y, and Z axis. So if I were to buy this again, I would definitely go that route. Uh, I think that's going to help the rigidity of the machine a lot. Well, anyways, um, you know, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, hopefully this uh, review was valuable. Thanks.